Sir, is this a moment of pride or anxiety for you? Um, Both. You're <laughs> Both, sir. <laughs> um, but explain to me, um, you know, there were complaints from the other side that you were too active in the campaign, that, that, that you were using um, your clout as a former leader to encourage people to vote for your son. Well, I don't know that that is so, but if it is so, what's wrong with that? People That's feel it's an unfair advantage. Exactly so. How could that be an unfair advantage? Man, yeah. I earned my stripes. I served as leader of this party for all these years. I was three-time prime minister. Doesn't that entitle me to call in whatever chips I may have in support of my son? There's nothing improper about that. There's nothing at all unfair, not in the least bit. Sir, this is the fourth national convention the UDP is having since January of 2020. How much is that a reflection on your leadership and your tenure as leader that you left the party in a fractious and fractured state? But I don't understand that at all. How can you say that I left the party in a fractured and fractured state? After I left, and remember I stopped being leader for a year before uh, the elections. What those that do who come after me, what those who come after me do. It's a matter for them, I can't have any control of that. When you're, when you're no longer leader, you're no longer leader. You, how will you blame me for what happened post my leadership? Not, 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 not proper, sir, not correct. A failure to have a succession plan, or the succession plan failed because Patrick Faber... How you can't have a su succession plan? This is, not a, this is not an autocracy, it's a democracy. You can't have any succession plan. It is for the people to vote whoever they want as a successor, no man, it can't work like that. Predicting any outcome f for today, sir? No, I only have a hope that my son will win.